Okay, really quick fire video here. How can you, and this one's gonna be about how you can clean up the query editor, okay? Because what will happen, and this will this for sure will happen later on down the track, is this area can get very, very busy, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna tidy it up so that it's very easy to reference the things that you need to reference to you know, get things working in your report, okay? So what you can do inside of here is you can select multiple tables by either holding shift and selecting, or you can hold down control and select sort of one by one if you want. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the key tables that I want to go into my, my main model, right? And I'm gonna right click and I can go move to group. Okay, so I'm gonna go new group and I'm gonna call this one the data model because these are the ones that are going to go into the data model. Okay, and then I've grouped it now inside a folder. I'm then also going to group these here as well. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to right click on just this one here. And I'm going to go new group and I'm going to call this a parameter query. Okay. Also, these ones I'm going to tidy up too. And I'm going to call this, um, go new group and I'm going to call these supporting queries. Okay. Because you know, and as you're seeing here, I'm just naming these in a really intuitive way. There's nothing complex. So anyone coming in here at a later point will be able to quickly understand what these are doing and why they're here, okay? And then I've very quickly been able to isolate my, my really key tables that are going to go into my model ultimately, okay? So really simple and easy thing to do. Don't need to spend too much more time on this. It's just, you know, something that I would always do um, just to quickly clean things up and make them more intuitive for yourself and for others who might ultimately um, be utilizing your model in the future. Okay, right. So let's just round things off in this section with a bit more, with some more advanced techniques that you could possibly use inside of here. So I've got a range of examples that I want to work through, and just to you know to mainly give you exposure to what's possible. You know, because what you're probably you know hopefully you're realizing now is that you can. There's so many different ways that you get to you know, achieve, th you know, optimize things in your own tables. So your table is going to be different. You're going to have different data. And so you've got to just really get your mind around all the different uh, features and techniques you can utilize so that you can implement them and know when to implement them within, within, your, own, um, within your own development. Okay, let's jump into it.